Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate so much because of the great support. Now, welcome to a new video. Okomo Omugeni is a popular leader known well in the Republic of Kenya. He has come out with a bomb to hit William Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. And Okomo Omogeni is saying that Ruto is only 17 days into power and he has already started campaigning for 2027. Okomo Omogeni, that is the expression that is giving out. This is something that I have always said and some people are like, I don't know what I'm saying. But in real sense, the truth is coming to unveil itself. Senior Counsel Okomo Omgeni has blamed President William Ruto for starting campaigns too early when he has not even settled in office. Mr. Omugeni says that from the look of things, Mr. Ruto is already doing campaigns for 2027, and that is not healthy for country and its development. Omugeni notes that Ruto... Now, so far, Omugeni has noted that Ruto is now on a move to visit areas that did not give him their full support to entice them into joining his camp so that they can work together. And through his expression, he continued to say that there are many places that Ruto will have visited, but choosing Homabay is a political move. He said that areas that are facing drought and famine should have been his first priority. But his decision is to go to Homa Bay, show an individual who is already keen on getting more votes in 2027. Many Kenyans, including myself, <laughs> blamed President William Ruto in 2017 for starting early campaigns to ensure that he clinched the just concluded elections. It seems that Ruto has seen that a move like that can pay off and intends to ride on a plot like that to get re-elected in 2027. And according, of course, according to KTN News, Okomo Mgeni, from the optics, the president is doing politics, which is early in day 17, in day 17 days in office. Ladies and gentlemen, at times when I speak, some people thought like I'm, look, I'm doing my own things. But in the perspective ways, the way I look things, mark my words today, William Ruto is going to start his early politics to secure his presidency 2027. Why am I saying that? And even you can see the expression that Okomo Mgeni is saying that starting early campaigns in 2017, this is something that is assuring Ruto that he is going to clinch and reclinch the seat in 2027. When I say so, People like Kakuzo, I don't know, he's, he's called Kakuzo. He always comment in this channel. I love him because he's very supportive. I want to say Kakuzo, today let me call your name so that I can give you a shout out. Kakuzo, when I tell you that William Samurut is going to start early campaigns to ensure that he's going to recapture his presence in 2027, believe me 100% sure. When I say this, you feel like I'm biased. I'm not. I will say the truth the way it is. One thing that William Ruta has started is to visit certain areas that he was not having support. 
the priority that we were looking at is that William Samaruto could have visited these areas that were having a lot of issues when it comes to drought and farming. The only thing that William Ruto did was to send them food, then he never went there to even to console with them. I told you in a video that I, 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 I analyzed yesterday, the priority of William Samruto building a road in Homa Bay is not a priority now. The first priority is two things. Assure the business people that the tax is going to be affordable for them to ensure that their business is going to be intact. Number two is that William Samruto must lower the high standard of living. I have not listened to William Samaruto, even regarding yesterday while having an interview in Citizen. He never came out to explain for us how they're going to do it to lower the high standard of living, the Kenyans. The only thing that these people are doing, they have started consolidating their base towards 2027. And that is why you can see the cabinet secretaries that are being rewarded is about the ethnic to ensure that in 2027 he's not going to struggle the way he struggled in 2017 starting his presidential bid. And that, was, that is why you see like Kilifi County in coastal region, William Samaruto never got a huge support. So he's get, he has thrown a bomb there to ensure that he, the Speaker of Senate is Amazon Kingi. The Cabinet Secretary there is Aisha Juma. The other side he has captured the attention on Vuria. The same same thing he has done to Duale. The same same he has done to Western, Mudavadi. He has given uh, that lady for Ministry of uh, Health, Moses Wetangula, the Speaker of National Assembly. These are the criteria because William Samuruto today, I want to say, if you're a Kikuyu, don't expect William Ruto to tour Mount Kenya region very soon. Even if it is very soon, he will not be frequent the way he was frequently going to Mount Kenya region. Because he believes 100% he has won the heart of Kikuyus. So he doesn't need more time to spend there. This time around he's going to spend more time in Nyanza region. Mark my words. That is the point. That is the truth that is going to come out. So Okomo Mugeni to come out to bomb William Samaruto. Early campaign. This is a pure fact. You like it, you don't like it. That is your own business. But William Samaruto in real sense... The first priority is that he could have started with, he has not, but he is doing pure politics. And that is why he is so disparate to alloc locate this cabinet secretary in this place, allocate this cabinet secretary in this place, and that is whatever he is doing. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion on the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. If you are a visitor, please do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.